Code Justin and Cheda in the house. So graffiti dog info. Justin and Cheda dot com. How's it going today? Are you doing today, Justin? Hey. Welcome. What's up, Dino? BFF.fm. Live. Hey. Make sure this is San Francisco, California, April 11, 2017. Justin and Cheda in the house. Espresso Sesh. BFF.fm. Alright. Cool. And you're listening to Counterculture. Justin and Cheda Band on the on the air right now. We got six people like watching us right now. Ciao. Alright. We'll put it out there. Yes. I was commercial, commercial, yes. pushing great vibes and great events here. And yes, let's go. And yes, here we are, BFF.FM, best frequencies forever. Espresso session number 66, today, April 11, live from San Francisco, California, Mission District, Secret Alley. Justin and Sheda in the house, welcome, Justin. Cool, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Check check one, check two. Yes. Yes. I, you are pretty good. Yes. Okay. So welcome, Justin. Let's put this camera somewhere here. Okay. Let's put everyone in the, in the frame. Like that. So let's introduce you. Like a uh, songwriter, singer songwriter from California, from uh, the Bay Area, larger Bay Area. With, uh, also, uh, music producer, like record label owner, activist, and, uh, you know, like, uh, overall, like, pushing, like, I mean, this is like a brief introduction, it's better that you speak for yourself about it, but, you know, like, you're doing so many things here, around music, around, like, music community and the activism community, so let's, let's start with some of those. Cool, thanks, Nina. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, really good to be here um, on the radio with you again. I think we've done this a few times. I think it was at yeah, the first City time was College. for City College uh, KCSF your community your radio back yeah. in uh, I, I think it was twenty thirteen. You just released your first album, oh, like, yeah, band yeah. album. No? Cool. Yeah, we were just listening to Plant. Yeah. And, uh, grateful for Cello Joe reconnecting us. Yeah. Came on air just last month. Yeah, it was last month, actually, yes. Yeah, and uh, a lot has been going on in the past three years. Um, I moved out of San Francisco into the East Bay. I live in West Oakland. I never thought I'd live in West Oakland and feel so at home. I've been there for three and a half years. I've um, been creating a video audio production studio, um, an artist for artists collective label, uh, booking pedal powered events with Rock the Bike uh, all over the nation and uh, working with Pleasant Revolution and other groups of environmental activists to push out music and a message of conscious awareness of where our power is coming from, where energy is coming from. And uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to take on. It's kind of like an uphill battle, but um, it's just great to create inspiring moments that can really connect us to you know, our individuality and also collectively, like, we are this family and we can feel good in this life. Yeah, because, you know, music uh, transmits, uh, like, emotion and uh, even knowledge, even, uh, like, can, it's a vague, no? Music is the web and can be as well, no? So, you know, it's good to, like, have a message. And, I mean, I think it's, like, an uh, add value to it, no? If uh, music has a message and, uh, you know, and the message is, like, about, like, clean energy, like about like what we can do beside the mainstream, no? Because there are different options for us, no? In general. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there are there are options out there, but um, we're obviously kind of fed the mainstream of what is, and to create something new is pretty, pretty hard, you know, because there's such a, an establishment already there. Um, and yeah, it's it's been a fragile balance between environmentalism and music that I've been trying to hold. And it's been really great to meet the, the bike crew of the Bay Area, um, the bike riders and the pedal power group. Pedal power group, yeah. yeah. 
you guys do shows, pedal power, like it's great. Like I saw you with the Arbol, no, back in the day. Yeah. Pedal Arbol is uh, Paul. Paul is giving a shot. Yeah. Rock the bike. Rock the bike. And you're gonna have play an event uh, that is Pedal Power pretty soon. Yeah, we're doing Earth Day at Ghirardelli Square in San Francisco on April 22nd from 12 to 4 p.m. I have the full band coming out. I'm really excited about the lineup of musicians. Um, the drummer, Bo Skew from Nevada City, I've been kind of eyeing him for quite a while. Um, Skylar Carr, I've been trying to get him on board for about three and a half years in my mind. He hasn't known this, but I've kind of okay. told him. <laughs> uh, so this will be his first full band uh, show with Justin and Chetta Band. We got Damien Soul on violin, Alex Garcia Scammon on saxophone, Marin Medke on vocals. Um, we have the whole pedal powered system and DJing going on in the breaks. And we're just trying to have a really engaging environmental message and to create joy in the sunshine at Ghirardelli yeah. from 12 to 4. And also, you know, involve people like biking to make it, make it happen. No, like, you know, you need people that really actually like do the job yeah, to make the sound, make the electricity going. You know? Exactly. So you get more involved because you are part, actually part of the, yeah. Part of the show. And part actually, of the show, actively, no, like, they rely on you yeah, yeah. <laughs> for and that, you know. What's great too is um, my first experience of jumping on at the Bison Music Festival, I wasn't a bike rider in, in San Francisco, and, you know, all these hills were very intimidating to me. You know, just biking from where I lived out in the sunset to downtown was very daunting. I think I'm probably do it like two to three times in a year. I mean, you can make one way. The other way, you open the, the bike on the bus. No? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I did that a few times. But then the Bison Music Festival came around 2007, and uh, they asked us to play the very first Bison Music Festival show at um, the Alamany Farmers Market at 7 a.m. Oh, yeah. With my band Mostro, my, my buddy Hernan Mateato from Argentina. And we played to like our 15 pedal powered crew through a small little speaker. And the farmer's market was going on around that, so there were some more people there, but it was a very small, small crew, and then we went around to like four or five different areas that day of doing pedal power. We were on our bikes, they were carrying all of our gear on these other carts, bike carts, and uh, it was my first pedal power experience where I jumped on one of these stationary bikes that were powering the sound system, and I know both Gabe Dominguez and Paul Friedman of Bison Music Festival, um, they... They were excited to influence, you know, people that wanted to have an environmental message but were kind of lost in how to do it. I was, I was just playing music and busking on the street, but I didn't know how to, like, create music and this activism. And, um, and there was the link. And then that was the link. And I've, I've been doing pedal powered music, toured over through Hawaii, brought uh, um, the first bike lane to um, downtown Honolulu and went over to Pleasant Revolution uh, Europe with Paul and the crew. Uh, been across the country with uh, Cradle Duende and Morgan Nilsson and just enjoying a lot of great memories, a lot of hard work. Pedaling is Pedal, a yeah. lot harder than driving, uh, but my experience is it's so much more enjoyable. Was that uh, the Hawaiian tour where um, also Diana Gameros was there? Yeah. Mama, Claudio, yeah. Yeah, I was doing it about four years in a row, and the last year we did it, about two years ago. Um, we got the largest crew of people to go over. Diana Gameros is, was involved, um, and Carolyn Chun on bass, uh, Justin Renfro, trumpet, Marin Medke in Honey of the Heart. Um, who else? Heather Normandale, who also toured the Boston Music Festival in Spain and throughout Europe. Um, so a lot of inspiring people. And it was, it was really cool to actually see that my, my, my reaching out to the mayor about pedal power and, and activism um, started, started to connect dots between the local, it's actually the uh, largest, or sorry, the longest running um, bike nonprofit um, over, in, over in actually the entire states actually. Um, it's been running for like 27 years over in Hawaii. And I feel like most of their messages has been trying to get people on this century you know bike around the island it was based a lot around tourism and trying to you know make the nonprofit work from a capital perspective but then with this connection of like hey where are the bike lanes they, they yeah. didn't exist and we we brought this question to the to them and the mayor to the connected them together to the and next thing you know 
on King Street, there's a bike lane now. They, okay. they blocked it off from traffic, and it's this huge greenway, and we did the cutting and the grand The inauguration. Okay, nice. Good. Really cool. So, you know, like, the music uh, like, actually like, brings things and, uh, like, actualize ideas, not because, you know, you can, uh, through music. You yeah, know. I think it's, it's something about left and right brain. I, I know, because I do a lot of business in the past three years, trying to get that side of my life together. And it's hard to switch back over to the creative side. Oh, yeah. But I realize that the creative side is the side that creates ingenuity and revolution, evolution. So that's really, I mean, not only are people just playing music, but there's the potential of to play music and have a gathering that allows people to have this aha moment of evolution for us. And I think that that's um, a really powerful gift that uh, we should be honoring artists for both Muralists, musicians, um, and creators. Creators in general, yeah, creators in general. Yeah. Cool, man, that's great, yes. And uh, you are keep doing that, and it's going to be a pedal power show on the air day, and uh, wish we would be pedal power this place here, yeah, but we'll be probably, you know, like could, one day, one we day. We can do something like that. We can do like a radio show, actually, pedal power. Uh, you know, yeah, like, actually, our studio really was the first pedal powered. Um, audio video studio in the world in so, the Soul Graffiti. Soul Graffiti studio so if you ever want to go over there and do your BFF.FM and, and do like yeah well right? we should, yeah, that's one way to probably. do pedal power yeah no, cool we talk. yeah we, we're gonna have a, like a section talking about Soul Graffiti more in depth cool. but while we are here with standing with your guitar like ready what do you want to you, would you like to perform something yeah right away you know like to break the ice and uh, to get it going no? yeah totally yeah what are, what are you gonna you have a, like a, 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 <clears throat> a setup with a loop pedal and you're ready to go. What are you gonna play yeah. for us? Let's see here. So, just gonna be doing some acoustic music here. I would like to dedicate this song to my buddy Derek. I just found out that um, he took his own life in the past 10 months and that just really shook me up. I was a little late to the show here. And I uh, just really want to honor him and who he was in my life in college. He was my guitar buddy. Um, and there's a lot of really good people out there in the world that just kind of, you know, lose the idea that, I guess, living is worth, worth it. Mm. And uh, just really want to honor their decision and the strength and, and power and force and love behind these people. And, and man, what an amazing person this guy was. So, to Derek, this is Bunkarie giving thanks to the elder tree. All right, just see your children.
Uscita live uh, BFF.fm Espresso Sessions Pro Little uh, So Graffiti.info Yes, okay That was pretty nice man oh, like, Thanks man Delicate and, uh, To the point So, let's keep going with some songs? Yeah, let's keep going with some songs, yes uh, Let's play like another two songs and then we talk back then Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep it like, uh, like Kind of like You're taking us in a magical like play so okay. the other one interrupt this. What are you gonna play next? Alright, this is a song I wrote for uh Lover Neighborhood Day. It was a event that I was the director of in two, 2016, right in front of our studio in Rock the Bike. And uh it's called Yeah. This is trying to keep the faith alive. man plays a stock exchange. This world won't change if you walk that way. My poor man respect the same. Power of life has given us a chance to see the coloring of life and death or a sweet sunset. Bend my knees and kiss the earth. Giving us beans for our birth. Oh, 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 Brown fading to dark winter night The dimming light beckons the cave Dwelling your heart through the changing tide The fear is seized with the rolling eyes We're not meant to be here struggling Through the scenes of life The rip tearing the heart
Espresso Sesh. Oh, Who? thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank yeah. you for being here for, for playing. You wanna play another one right away? Um, or you wanna yeah. take a break? Yeah, yeah, I could, I could do one more. One more, and yeah, then yeah. We'll talk a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> what are you gonna play next? All right. Playlist. So this song here I wrote um, while I was busking on the streets of San Francisco, which is actually how I first came to to the Bay Area again. Um, I was raised up in the Sierra Mountains. Born down here, but raised up there. And um, after college, my band was down here and they're like, we gotta move to the Bay Area or else we can't do this. This way is happening. This commuting this thing. Happening. Yeah. yeah, so <laughs> I came down here and uh, Jesse Olswang, drummer, percussionist, had this idea of busking on the street and we uh, bought this battery powered um, inverter amp and battery, et cetera. And we went out to Gearing Powell, O'Farrell Powell, the wharf, and for like three years straight, almost every day, we were out there uh, with our CDs, and uh, it was a really cool experience. Um, the street has a lot of energy, both yeah. on the side of chaos and beauty. It's like, you know, the sun shines out, and all of a sudden it's rainy, and, you know, the good and the bad all mixed into one pot. Yeah, also the, all the people, the diversity of the people, especially in, in a place like that, no? that is like so central uh, downtown. Yeah, so yeah, the central area. It's like the tenderloin is there and the beauty of the tenderloin and also the chaos. And also the business improvement district is right there as well. And so many beautiful moments of like these two different types of um, genres of people actually coming together and uniting on the street and seeing it really in a beautiful way. Uh, and also, there's some chaos moments. But anyway, this is called is Broke Man Full. And it was written while, uh, after being on the streets for a while, coming back to the house. I wrote this. Some inspiration from the street of San Francisco. Just in a chill. I'm 
for the night Don't worry about me Love will find its way back home Wanna be a blanket in the cold your soul grow Who says I can be the blind man fool Still feel love from above I keep my mind away to see where I'll go As a beam I'm still Truth, I already lost and found love. One step closer to where I go. Wrong guy now, last few steps. Where I saw her, I should go. Who says I can't be the blind man? Still feel love from above. I keep my money away to see where I'll go. There's a being I'm still here. Take your feeling and try it near. No more worries and no more fear.
Justin and Shed Alive, BFF.FM. Song inspired by the street, uh, from the street. Streets of San Francisco. Streets of San Francisco, with all those hills and all those uh, bumps. So, man, like, um, you want to have a seat where we talk, uh, let's, uh, let, let's talk a little bit. I want to know how you get inspired, uh, how you, for, like, in your songwriting, you know? Like you catch uh, like a melody on your guitar and then you build it and then you write the lyrics on top of it or like what well, are you that's how your like method your way to yeah to then how how do I get inspired it's yeah and how you make your song like how you song write yeah I I can imagine um, like how to be inspired is like um, asking the question I guess like about food. And how many different ways we can, you know, enjoy food from different cultures and ways of eating, really. Um, because, yeah, my experience of songwriting, um, there's formulated experiences where I'm formulating based off of lyrics, rhythm, melody, chords, um, or there's just a flow that comes out. Um, probably the most enjoyable version of it is the flow. Um, I've had some really good experiences where I'll wake up and have a cup of coffee or some tea, some type of caffeine or something. And some breakfast. Yeah. yeah, and nature does it for me. Oh man, people say like, what music do you listen to? And I think that silence and nature is probably the most inspiring parts of, of my, my music um, and my experience of what inspires sound out for me. Um, I think that just like going into nature, being able to go camping and go by a lake and just write something and not um, have any feeling that you're being watched. Kind of, uh, it's very uninhibited. Um, it's more or if you are watched, it's like by the divine of you know, yeah. your surrounding. Yeah. You know, something. By the connection of the nature, yeah, you are like with with that, and I can tell you like from your music that you are more. I mean, you are using like urban uh, technique, you know, like looping and you know, mm, contemporary technology. But I can tell your music is root with like nature and uh, you know as this, um, you know, in your aesthetic, you know, as uh, it's grounded, it's grounded, mm. and it's grounded. From the earth, like with thanks. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. I, I'll take that as a yeah, a really positive thing. Critique. Um, that's something that I, I I definitely I feel like I'm kind of questioning in myself often because um, I'm surrounded more and more by technology. You know, I'm using a lot of uh, you know devices that have been created just in the past months, years. Um, I have this device actually that covers my guitar and it's a MIDI controller that controls lighting and sound and video oh, yeah. and it's all through this device that pops onto the front of the, front of the guitar and I don't have it on right now because I don't really need it here okay, but yeah. also it's it's very uh, it's the opposite of nature kind of I would, I would say but I'm trying to figure out if it can inspire people to connect back with um, the environment or nature or a thought of um, I guess uh, culture and community that I feel um, capitalism I can you know I get it can create community and culture but it, it, it I feel like it compartmentalizes us so much that we're losing connection to our family to our friends and our people and then people are getting depressed and then taking pills to, to solve it versus an action of like calling a friend up or going out and being active with with people or family so it's definitely something that I'm, um, you know, I'm just in it with everyone else with, with this question of like how much is technology a gift and how much is it a distraction? Yeah, you know, if it's um, something that uh, actually like actualize your um, your vision, no, musical vision, like I know I have no idea about this controller for your guitar, but you know, it's something that uh, you have an idea how to change the light of your set and you have uh, like the, op the possibility to do it and control it while you are there no? on stage yeah. performing. I think this is like kind of the technology that actually comes and helps the performer, not like the loop pedal or you know like in-ear monitoring or other like stuff. Yeah, yeah. Something that I'm actually trying to do because it's, it's really easy to dream up tons of like new ideas and, and tools to use and connect to 
but I'm really trying to create things in my life that actually go into action, yeah. right? Versus like buying a tool and then having to sit there for a long time. I'm seeing that a lot um, around me kind of. And I, yeah, so this, this is actually kind of a sore spot for me. It's like, I need to utilize this tool or else it's something that I've invested in and I haven't actually turned it into this inspiring connecting instrument. Um, and if it doesn't, then it's a eye opener wake up call for me. Like I should probably par down, get simpler. You know, there's yeah, there's there's a lot of people out there um, that are doing very simple um, music, and it's very connecting. So, yeah, it's like your project, uh, Honey of the Earth. No, it's kind of a simple like project, like some yeah, guiding. it's par down. Like we we can do full band, but. Um, the uh, Honey of the Heart project is primarily Marin Medke and myself, and we just break it down to guitar and vocals as its most simplest form without any looping, um, a lot of harmonies still with both of us singing, and then from there we can build out, bring in the looper, bring in more band members and different instrumentations. So I, yeah, I like the versatility of being able to pare down to something really simple, and then you know, choose to bring different elements in if it's needed for different environments. Yeah, also, you know, <clears throat> that's kind of a side of, uh, like, your pers music persona, like, or, um, like, being, uh, like, having, like, a, a band, or, like, being able to perform solo, or having, like, a duo, you know, it's, uh, you have a wider range to express yourself. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it, I... And share the message. Yeah, it's, it's something that I'm, I'm really trying intentionally to create is the ability to write a song and not have to write it for the band's sound, which I've actually had this happen to me in my life before. It's like the band has a certain sound. It's a, it's, a, it's a reggae funk band. So I have to change my folk song into a reggae funk tune because that's what the band genre, that's what we're selling out there. Um, I get it's a lot easier to create a product like that but in regards to the scope of being human like we are so much more expansive than just a genre yeah you know just as people and um, it's something that I'm, I'm really trying to grasp as an artist is how can I really stay true to I want to rock out I want to get big and loud but I don't always want it yeah so I mean, according to the context you know yeah exactly you, yeah you, you, you gotta, gotta fit the like the environment to rock out it should be like an environment that permits you to yeah totally totally and uh it's, it's really nice uh being an event producer too because i feel like it's kind of putting the power back in with the artist because if we're able to pick and choose and create the structure around why the event's happening what the sound system is like what the room is looking like so that we can bring the energy up or down based off of not just the sounds, but the aesthetics with all of our senses. Um, so that's something I really enjoy about the event production and working. And sounds like the next big event of the head at the is going to be like that because it's going to be on a on a square. Yeah, uh, Deer Delhi Square on um, April twenty second for Earth Day from twelve to four. We're having the full band come out. Um, last year, we, we did the exact same thing. Um, I'll, I'll try and post a video or something so you guys can see last year's thing because we have a little video spiel of it. But it's, um, it actually rained when we started setting up, so we went underneath this overhang, this uh, something, this device. But um, I'm really hoping that it doesn't have any rain this year and we can get out in the square. And this is a high energy show. We're going to be doing the entire reggae funk rock experience with, with the food band yeah yeah let's play actually a tune from the the album released in 2013 it's called plant yeah mm -hmm. uh i selected actually surface of the moon right here you wanna just uh, like gonna play the recording so yeah yeah you want to tell a little yeah. bit about the song yeah. yeah 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 so service of the moon was inspired by feeling so close to connection with a woman and just realizing that I'm just grazing the surface of her moon kind of um, okay. and so it's it's just a, a reality check that uh, it wasn't the right time and space to yeah. be in that type of relationship dynamic okay and uh, writing the song is very healing for me yeah because man music heals music take you higher music like really like cues your 
pain, uh, like blues is that, no, like singing out the, the blues, no, and totally. yeah, we worship music very well, very much. Nice. Okay, Justin and Chita Band from the album Plant, uh, here BFF.FM Espresso Session, we're gonna listen to Surface of the Moon. Rosario uh, Finelli on the line. Some info about Justin and Trevor, check him out, the so graffiti.info. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, also, you know what? Uh, I didn't catch the title. Of you so much. Pinto, you said good music, man. Got another lineup here. Yeah. This is the la latest heliocentric song. It's called uh, actually kind of this uh, "Made of the Sun." Yeah, after the surface, surface of the moon, "Made of the Sun." Yeah. And then we go back on the live music. Live music after this? Oh yeah, we can talk. The, or I can play another one. Got it. Jefferson I play kind of vibe. It's a live feed. Yeah, the live feed, yeah. If you want to share this public. Oh it is? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, no, you can go to my my Facebook and or should be. Sh I mean, you should get a notification because I thank you on that. So. Less than a minute of, of this song, I'll play another one. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And then we go. Uh, yeah, we got four. Is this new year? Huh? No, no, half a minute, man. No, no, Michelle, it's a. Uh, I think it's a uh, nice play. It's a musician for a producer. The latest the quantic joint here, Lydia Gongora.
go after this, 40 seconds. 40 seconds, okay. And yes, we are BFF.FM, Best Frequencies Forever, Espresso Session, Justin and Cheta in the house. Welcome back. Uh, Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Justin and Cheta, singer, songwriter from uh, East Bay or, or the Bay Area, let's say Bay Area. Bay Area sounds good. Bay Area. So, you know what? Before you start playing something, like, what is the sound of the Bay Area in your idea? Uh, melting pot. Oh man, style? I, I, I could not categorize the Bay Area, um, which is actually a really beautiful thing. It, so much going on, So huh? much culture and yeah. so much, any style of dance or music that you want to see, you can actually go to within, you know, 45 minute drive around the Bay Area. Pretty awesome. Yeah, that's good. You know, you know like I try to have a, like an eclectic show, like booking different uh, guests, you know, the different like reality, like music, uh, background and stuff. Yeah. And you know, like the Bay Area is, um, with all the odds, you know, still like a big uh, basin of uh, like music and creativity and uh, such such a variety, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, there's actually this event coming up pretty soon, which is pretty eclectic. Uh, we're, we're, we're booking out the Maker Fair in San Mateo. Um, oh, okay, yeah. May 19th through 21st, having over 15 bands, uh, mostly San Francisco, Oakland, bands um some even from up the hill but yeah pretty cool events going on we're also biking down from dolores park all the way to the to san, san mateo, san mateo okay. with a crew of people so if you guys want to jump on that go to the soul graffiti uh facebook page and there's an event there to get more information around how, how that bike ride goes and also you know like um, if you want to follow uh, Justin and uh, the things that he does on Soul Graffiti and uh, his own music page, like check him out. Man. Yeah, we got Soul Graffiti Productions on Facebook. We have Honey of the Heart. We got Justin and Cheddar Band, and uh, on my own personal page, I pretty much am posting up all my different collaborations. I'm gonna have Cello Joe come to the studio on Thursday, and we're mixing down the Joe Tinger project, where it's a mixture of Josh Mellinger, Cello Joe, and myself. Uh, live at the vestry so we have already all the recordings done we just got to mix down the album and we'll be putting that up online very soon cool yeah so many things going on that's yes. good no? all right what are you gonna play now this is a new one this is called boulevard boulevard okay justin and chipper live bff <laughs>
Uh, yeah, like yeah. Um, we're much. actually coming out with a bunch of new material. We've been building the studio out for like three, three and a half years. It's been somewhat of a distraction, but also I'm very excited to actually have this tool, not only for my own music to get out audio and video production from our own studio, but have it as a resource for all of our community that we have and here in the Bay Area. There's a very eclectic amount of artists that um, need affordable resources for audio and video production and getting content out there, um, single releases and albums. So, um, yeah, yeah. You, you just pulled up the website. Yeah, no, that's why I was uh, like, you pull it out like as artist for artist. Like, yeah, totally. Kind of production. So, I'm going to yeah. say it here because I don't know how many people are actually watching this, but we have a new website coming out any day now. And if you want to actually see the up and coming website and check it out, it's soulgraffiti.info, which you're going to see on the screen, and then you go slash beta. Beta. If you go to slash beta, you're going to see what we've been working on. I give a lot of props to Alex Garcia Scanlon. Let's, Let's do it. Right Let's do it right now. Let's do it right. The website. This is the regular. Yep. So that's and been there for like 10 years. It's been kind of... Beta. Um, the beta version here is coming out. There's a little reflex you're not going to see much. Yeah, so... No one's seen uh, this live except us working on it, and you guys live right now. You can get right. the first look at so, the, the studio and what we're offering. Cool, man. It looks good. Yeah. So event production, recording, we have lessons. Um, it's the whole gamut. So, soulgraffiti.info. Soul Soulgraffiti.info. If you want to check out the, you want to have a sneak preview of the beta. And the beta is slash beta. beta. And, uh, it should be up any day now. That's why I'm just letting you guys know. It's extra special here for BFF.fm. And uh, community radio. Community radio. We keep things alive uh, and uh, happening. No? Exactly. Yeah. I, I would love to actually have you over the studio, like I said, and, and you know, see if you want to do something over there. Yeah. Let's talk about this. We can do like a remote broadcast. I would love to. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's keep this in the. In the realm of songwriting. Yeah. 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 Yes. Cool. All Justin right. and Chetan. Okay. So. What are you going to play next? Another song here. Um, I like doing new stuff. It's exciting, but I, I, I can imagine doing something that I know really well and probably tell us better for radio. Anyway, tell this us is going to be better predicament. This is one of the songs. Ah, better predicament. Okay, yeah. 
for April 22nd, Earth Day, over at Ghirardelli Square. And this is one of the songs off the album. We did a whole special music video to this one. If you like the music, go to justinanchettaband.com and we'll have a bunch more songs like this very soon. Live, BFF.FM. Well, I'm just dreaming of the day when the whole world walks away from polluting all these rivers I grew up on. They say the sock won't change if we all remain the same. So I'll keep dreaming what I'm playing this day. The seasons start to change from summer to fall rain. And back into winter again as we start to display. We're over for soon. We're breathing these fumes. It's getting harder to live without the For my children's children to be making products where they steal Coughing up a lump from dinosaur bones I don't want your throne, I don't want your throne Our seasons start to change From summer to fall rain And back into winter again As we start to display We're over but soon We're breathing these fumes It's getting harder to live without thinking of you Is a hood on the street, why are you 
use what you need. No to you for your greed, making me really see. It's a better predicament if I just close my eyes. Make a system without greed or compromise. Evolution of spirit, generations of path. Make a new order to take down the capitalist crack with the whip to enslave up our shores. So come show me the summer where we come to say before we knew what had happened and our backs turned around. Billy at the peace zone for 200 years on our ground. And a deal for my children's children to be making products where they steal. Come on, never run, come down as a blow. I don't want your throne, I don't want your throne. Oh, take the soil and make the seed. You have your own two hands to plow. from the album uh, Plant. Plant. Plant, yeah, Justin, um, I should have meant this is like a intimate, more intimate, but you know, like with the loop station and it's like full enough because you can beatbox all on top of it and a uh, little I stuff. have fun with it, yeah, definitely. It, it doesn't replace the full band sound. It's uh, inspired by uh, actually two awesome musicians here in the Bay Area, Izzy Wise and Morgan Nilsson, okay. clarinetist and bass player. Give a shout out to both of them, they're good friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they both uh, were an inspiration for that song. And, and that there's an awesome clarinet melody part that... Um, yeah, actually, I think the, the song starts with the clarinet. No, it's exactly. Like it's, it's yeah, actually, down. it's really cool. Um, so Izzy's a producer, and uh, Morgan went over to his house and played a bunch of klezmer lines that she knows. And he actually mixed and matched the klezmer lines in a way that she wouldn't normally play it, and then she learned the, the line that way. Okay. And then that became the the part of the song. Yeah. Check him out. Check him out. You guys are your music on Spotify, huh? It's oh. on Spotify. Yeah, just just look for Justin and Shetta Band on Spotify or iTunes. Or there. Yeah. Also, you know, like we have a nice uh, playlist uh, on Spotify on Espresso, Espresso Session. Uh, so your music is going to be there as well, featuring the music from all the guests we had. Nice, right, so is there. Yeah, my crew is there, Locura, yeah, we got like so many artists. It's been like one and a half year doing this show. It's episode 66 today, and uh, we try to go, to go like steady and, uh, you know. Nice. So check out the on Spotify, the Espresso Sesh playlist, and give it a play, because we... Kind of supports the artist like with traction of sense, but you know every play is okay. uh, cool. Cool. So we're gonna put uh, Justin and Shadow music. I already released uh, over there and the new production as well because the, it's a dynamic playlist. So keep uh, keep being updated all the time. We have a hi there from Poland. Huh? From Paul who? Poland. Poland. Oh. E Ewa. So I can't see it. Yeah. It's, uh, Hi there from, oh, Poland, oh wow, oh, Eva, oh my <laughs> gosh, that is so cool, hi, Eva, so, I, if that's the right person I'm thinking of, I met her on the streets of San Francisco, Okay. she was out there as a supporter of her, you know, the rainy and the sunny days, there, there was some really, you know, diehard, awesome Supporter, people. cool, yeah. nice, yeah, you see, like, music connects, music heals, music take you higher, yeah. Music. Hey, cool. I'm a fan of music. So, yeah, I think I am too. Yeah. <laughs> a, a little bit, a little bit. We spent time doing it. Let's play another song, probably the last song. I don't know, it's uh, yeah. 3.21. Man, I don't know if you have to leave uh, earlier. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can do one more song. Yeah. Um, and maybe play one off the album or something. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. it's up to you. you. Just keep. let me know what you're playing so I keep the playlist. Okay. On oh, updated. Nice fresh. <laughs> fresh, yeah. Um, let's see here. I think I'm gonna do uh, Sueños and. Hey, hey, what I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eva, I miss you. 
Thanks for watching. Pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna do a song called Sueños. And Sueños, is, okay. Yeah, this is an old one actually. I used to play this on the streets often. It's um, it just yeah, I, I wrote this before I knew really anything about flamenco, and I still am learning a lot. I don't, I can't even say that I know anything right now, but um, yeah, it's, it's through it's, the inspiration of flamenco music. I went to Spain and just fell in love with the culture and the community in Granada, and uh, so sueños meaning dreams. I, um, there's some, there's some flamenco influence here, but, uh, I can't even say it's a specific style other than my own here, so, Sueños. Sueños by BFF of the Femme, Justin and Shirley.
There are questions I can't answer, so I turn to you to direct me to the nearest laser I can see. Justin and Shadow Live, BFF.FM, like sueños, very dreamy, like took me somewhere like else, like the, the flamenco, like nice. Great. Cool, yeah, I, I have a memory of going in Granada and uh, trying to find some like genuine pure flamenco and, and went to a show at 10.30 p.m., pretty high door, I think it was like 25 euro ticket or something, and I was there, I'm like, this isn't it, it didn't feel right to me, it wasn't, it wasn't like as juicy as I wanted. I was already in, I was in Spain, I want the juice. And there was this Englishman, and he's been going there for 12 years and knew about the oh, underground yeah. barrios and where to go. He's like, after the show, I will take you to the real stuff. He's like, we gotta wait till 2.30 a.m. And there's only a five euro ticket, and it's gonna be a little stinky. And we went down back alleyway, and his family played. And what was really amazing, like I was in tears just seeing the genuineness and the the, the, the form of it, it was just like they were embodying, they were living their art form. And all the performers of this bigger show earlier in the night, they were there watching the show to get their tricks. Yeah. And it was just really amazing just to see like, oh my God, this is, this is kind of an interesting uh, thing to see. I mean, there's, all, there's, there's parallels in, in life, you know, it's like, where's the juiciness, right? It's like the source of our inspiration, our connection. And it's, it's not really what the big corporation actually puts out it started with like one idea or one collective of people so we just got to remember that you know we got to stay inspired to be that little juiciness on our own and with our peoples but also you know like just dig deeper not that stop at the surface because you know there is uh, like the event was like in your face now but the truth is, was uh, so you have to dig deeper exactly Talk with people stay, like, stay interact Yep. Figure out, no, because you know we are human. We can talk. No, totally. But, yeah, you exactly. Know, they, they ask question, like answer question. You know. Totally. Yeah. Roadblock. Say what's up. Say what's up. You know. Exactly. How's it going? Anytime there's a roadblock, either from a perspective of inspiration for music or how to get to the next point in your business or whatever it is, it's like that roadblock can totally be shifted into a question, and then in that curiosity, you can then find an answer for yourself and it could be totally a different direction than what you think which yeah. is really inspiring I think yeah yeah cool, thanks, for, thanks for having and thank you for being here yeah Justin and Chad um, check him out the next show is gonna be on the April 22nd at Air Day on Girardelli Square it's yes. like a very typical place in San Francisco everybody knows tourists and uh, I haven't been there since my mom visiting last time so it's been a while April 20th. Uh, what time is the show? It's from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. We'll be we'll be doing two sets of music in there. We got some DJing, but the pedal power should be going pretty constantly. We're gonna need your guys' pedal power to actually put the show on. It's gonna be off grid, nothing grid tied. So everything from you jumping on those bikes is what's gonna produce the sounds of the show. Thanks to Rock the Bike and Paul for getting the updated gear going on for us that day. Um, and yeah, we're really excited to be putting on a show that's more than just music it's about you know this thought of what is earth day what is it for and i really appreciate having this opportunity to talk with you about it and yeah be living in the beautiful bay area and keep rocking man and keep like pushing like music like good values like you know awareness you know thank you man thank you brother thank you justin and Chita, soul graffiti dot info justin and dot com Stay tuned on BFF, we're gonna have like some nice regular to play here. We have the last spam all star, we have a nice uh, Bosque from the Whiskey Barons, a little 
East Coast uh, independent music and uh, while or before it's time to play some Collie Birds, latest promo called Good Life here, BFF.FM Espresso Sesh. <laughs> Say bye to. Thank you for watching us live. Listen to the music on BFF.FM. Thank you, Justin. Ciao, ciao. Good to see you ciao. there, Eva. We're, I'm going to come to Europe in 2018. Watch out. Watch out, yes. All right. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for tuning in. BFF Espresso Sesh. Ciao.